Hello everyone, I am Nitij and today we are going to build a pair of custom React hooks. One will be for copying text to the clipboard and another one will be for pasting text from it. So this is a useful feature for any web application and a great way to understand how React hooks can enhance user experience. To create the hooks, we will be using the browser's navigator.clipboard API which allows you to interact with the system clipboard which is shared across applications on the user's device. So first in the SRC folder, I will create a new folder with the name hooks and I will create another folder with the name use clipboard copy to copy the text and let's create another folder with the name use clipboard paste to paste the text from the clipboard. Let's also create the index.js files for both of them. So index.js. Let's start with the use clipboard copy hook. So first I will create a function for this hook. So const use clipboard copy equals to a new arrow function. And let's also export it as well first. So export default and then the function name which is use clipboard copy. Now from this hook, we are simply going to expose a function which will copy to the clipboard. So const copy to clipboard equals to instead of recreating this function again and again on multiple component renders, we can use the use callback hook to cache this callback so that it will not be created again and again. So for that, I will simply first import the use callback hook from react and then let's use it over here so use callback and then first we will provide the text as an argument for this function the text which is going to be copied first let's check if the navigator has the clipboard api available or not if it is available then we will simply call navigator dot clipboard dot write text then we will provide the text as an argument when that is successful then we can chain the then callback with a function for the sake of testing we can write to the console text copy to clipboard we can also chain the catch callback by simply writing an error message to the console that the text has been failed to get copied to the clipboard and then finally if the clipboard api is not available then we can simply log to the console a message that the clipboard api is not available so that is pretty much everything we need to do for this copy to clipboard function and now we just need to return it from this hook and now one thing that i missed to provide here is the dependency area for the use callback hook which simply means that when we need to cache the use callback function so I am going to add an empty dependency array which simply means that this needs to be cached all the time. Let's move on to the use clipboard paste hook. So first I will add a function for the hook. So let's do that use clipboard paste. Now I am going to use the use callback hook again for our clipboard paste hook as well because we are again going to add a function to paste text from the clipboard. So const paste from clipboard equals to use callback and this time use an async function so instead of chaining the then and catch callbacks we can simply use async and await so async and this is going to be our function let's also provide the dependency array first so that we will not miss to add it later and in this function we will simply check if navigator dot clipboard is available or not if it is available then we will simply fetch the text so const text equals to await navigator dot clipboard dot read text and how do we expose this text from this hook to the component which is using it and that is by the means of creating a new state variable so for that i will first import use state and then create a new state variable with the name pasted text so const pasted text and then use pasted text equals to use state the default value is going to be an empty string 
sorry set pasted text all right so set pasted text and then we can provide this text as an argument now if the clipboard api is not available then we can simply log to the console that the clipboard api is not available although in a production application you will not log anything to the console you can simply use some kind of log manager or your custom logging implementation to only log messages to the console when your application is running in the development mode finally from this hook we are going to return the pasted text and the paste from clipboard function now it's time to use these two hooks and see if they are working as expected so i will open up the app.js which i have already cleaned out to remove this stuff that we are not going to need let's import the two hooks so import use clipboard copy and then import use clipboard paste okay so first let's fetch the copy to clipboard function so const copy to clipboard equals to use clipboard copy and now let's also fetch the state variable and the function from clipboard paste as well so const paste a text and then paste from clipboard equals to use clipboard paste now i'm just going to add some basic html to be able to use um, these items which have been returned from these two hooks so this first button when clicked will simply copy to the clipboard this text text to copy the second button when clicked is going to paste from the clipboard the text which has already been copied into this paragraph by using this pasted text return value from this use clipboard paste hook so these are the two buttons which we have added first let's click copy to clipboard to copy the sample text now let's click on paste from clipboard so the text to copy which we copied using the hook has been pasted over here now one thing you need to notice is that the user will need to give the browser permission to be able to paste the text from the shared clipboard because the shared clipboard can contain sensitive information so that is why the user will have to give permission copying does not need the user's permission but pasting from the user's clipboard will need the user's permission because i have already given the permission that is why i can see this dialog which says clipboard read access allowed now let's see if we can copy and paste to and from another application like a notepad so let's copy to clipboard first in this notepad i am going to press ctrl v the text to copy has been copied now let's copy something else like hello world ctrl a ctrl c click on paste from clipboard the hello world text is being copied which simply means that our hooks are working flawlessly the system clipboard is a common feature in most operating systems making it a universal tool for transferring data but this functionality might have limitations or behave differently depending on the browser browser version or maybe operating system so it's important to test your web application across different environments to ensure that the behavior is consistent and that was everything about building our clipboard copy paste functionality using react hooks i hope you found this tutorial helpful and it adds value to your react projects if you like this video and found it informative then please consider subscribing to this channel your support motivates me to create more content like this thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one